wheel drive. Hey guys, it's Scott here. We are going to be doing a fuel pump on a 01 Chevy Tahoe 5.3. It's going to be the same pretty much on all Chevy products from ever to now. Say like uh, mid 90s for sure and up. Chevy trucks, SUVs, everything that's rear wheel drive, fuel pump, four wheel drive, yada yada yada. Uh, it's going to be a whole complete unit that's going to have the fuel level sensor is on it and the fuel pump and you have an evap pressure sensor that's installed already on it when you buy it on most pump assemblies. Some of them you have to buy that extra, the evap sensor extra or take the one off of your stock pump and put it on the new pump. If you haven't done the fuel pump before there's also a pigtail bracket, sorry not bracket, but a pigtail wiring harness that needs to be installed on the truck side to adapt to the new style pumps. So let's take a look what we're doing. 01 Chevy Tahoe 53 fuel pump. Here we go. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, share, all that. All right, these are the tools necessary to complete this job. <laughs> uh, 15 millimeter socket. I don't think you need a deep socket, but would help. Um, an extension. 3 inch will probably do, but this 6 inch for sure will work. Fuel led pump, which has a sensor. This is the level sensor on it. This is the EVAP pressure sensor. This one comes with it on this pump if you buy a cheap one. Check, uh, check online. Uh, or if you're buying them online, double check to see if it comes with it. Always better just to replace it since you're there. Don't want that to go bad right when you get done with this pump and coincidentally end up with another problem. You get pissed off at your mechanic. Um, this is the new harness that you would have to install. This fuel pump's been done before, so I know I already have that on. But I'll show you a picture of it. This right here is a tranny floor jack. What I'm going to do is put this under the truck on the fuel pump so I could lovely drop the pump, get the pump out. I mean, sorry, drop the tank and get the pump out all under the truck. Sounds like cake, right? And uh, I have a jack adapter that goes on a regular jack to turn it into one of these. I actually have one for sale. If anybody, 80 bucks, bought it, didn't work, so I bought this big thing. This works for everything. But I have it. Hit me up if you want it. Uh, here we go. I wonder. Alright, well, uh, there's no flash, I guess, so hopefully this works. Um, we're going to have two bolts holding two straps in the car. The guns, they're down here. Just kidding. Um, this bolt right here. Right there has to come out. Hopefully it'll focus. Got another one. Mm, right there. Those just have to come out and fall goes right. The tranny jack will lower the tank. Nice and flat. So, here we go. Alright, back here. On the back of the tank, you have two hoses coming in from your filler and breather. Those gotta come off too. I actually forgot. I was like, what the hell? And uh, Don't forget your hoses. Take those off. And then we'll lower it down onto the jack stand. Jack stand, training jack. Here we go. Alright. Let's lower the tank.
Damn, clothes clip just flew. And well, this thing doesn't want to come, and it's full of gas. <sighs> what a bitch. This is always the hardest part. Alright, so here we are. The tank don't go much lower than that. Planning this out sounded a lot better and easier, but you gotta deal with what you're given. So, it's about as low as we're gonna get. Let's get under there. You gotta get the hoses off on top to get the tank lower. So, a pair of pliers is needed up here. There's actually some room. Let me get under. If you had more time, take the drive shaft out. Probably be easier and faster for you. But what we need to do is those right there. The hose is need to come off those uh, pins right there. Electrical disconnected right there. That's the pigtail that you would have to reconnect. You'd have to cut the factory harness off and put this one on. You can see it's already wired in right there, spliced in from last time. EVAP sensor disconnected. Get these hoses off. We should be able to lower the tank just a little bit more. And get this pump out. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I finally got the pump back in. And that ring was a bitch to get back on. But make sure you get it all the way. It'll click into spot, into place. Here is the new pump installed. Not the clamps. Oops. Let's go ahead and put these in. Make sure it's got a good connection. Remember, this one had to be switched out. If it doesn't go on, then it's a stock one and you had to put these aftermarket pigtails on. This is the EVAP pressure sensor. On, on. Hose clamps are on. These you gotta squeeze on the sides with pliers to pull them in to pull the hose off. Fun stuff. So let's put the straps or the hoses on the backpack on, and then the straps on. There's the hoses right there. Gonna put those back on. 
and we're done. The new two straps yields of 14 millimeters. So, thanks for looking. Like, subscribe, share. Hey guys, another great idea while you're under the truck doing your fuel pump is to change your fuel filter. Oh, what great lighting I have. There we go. Fuel filter is right here. Come on. How can I get a good picture? Right there. Fuel filter is right there. So what I use is an adjustable open end on the fuel filter side and a 17 millimeter on the truck side of the fuel lines. Never over tighten these things, just snug on everything. Uh, the brass or copper is really soft to make the connection. It's really easy to ruin these. So, careful, snug, everything. That's pretty much it. You're going to have a nice, clean fuel system or fuel filter for your uh, brand new fuel lip pump. Remember to like, subscribe, share. See you on the next one.